But Mr. Collect just needs to know about this person that is missing them. This person feels safe hiding and not saying anything. But they're very jealous. So some of y'all, this person may have, they may feel like you've moved on. This person feels like you moved on, but they're angry with you. They're they're actually hurt. Somebody's really in their emotions here. Somebody could be a cancer. You could be a cancer. Your person could have heavy cancer in their chart here. The thought of you being with somebody else really angers this person. Like it, it makes them very nervous. Is the it makes this person crazy. Um, but the problem with this is, is that they're hiding their feelings out of fear of like being hurt. So this is somebody here who has a really big ego, but they, um, self-sabotage, I feel like. So this person allowed you to move on and <sighs> this person's going to continue to go through the same lesson whether they're with you or with somebody else because I feel like there's some self-sabotaging energy here. There are some um, unhealed wounds here that this person has like hasn't learned a lesson from either this lifetime or the last lifetime, okay? So some of you guys feel like you've already passed this test. You're, you don't want to go through another karmic cycle with this person. But this person has not completed a cycle. Like They haven't learned an important lesson here, okay? What does the collective need to know about this person that is missing them? Yeah. Car I just said karmic cycle. I literally just said, like, this person hasn't learned. Like, they have to complete a karmic cycle and learn these lessons and get out of their ego and get out of their pride. It, it, or else this is not going to work with anybody. I don't care if they move on to somebody else collective or how many people they have okay in the black book they got some negative karma to clear what does the collective need to know about this person here that's missing you they're in their feelings and they want forgiveness they want to apologize for hurting you but it's almost like you might even for some of you guys this person is not going to be able to take it jealousy is going to drive this person very crazy you could be dealing with an aries leo or a sagittarius um we are in, what are we in Pisces season right now? So like, or, or, uh, sorry y'all, I'm forgetting. So yeah, we're, we're still in Pisces season. You could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries for sure. Okay, this, but th this person wants to ask for your forgiveness, but they're so confused and overwhelmed by like the, just like, they don't know how they're going to do this because they're such in, they're so much in their ego, but they can't let you go either because the intensity of the connection, they've never felt a connection the way that they feel a connection with you. The intensity scares this person. So, you know, for some of y'all, this person's not going to pop up in, you know, a, another month, but for some of y'all, they will because they can't take it anymore. They're doing everything they can to try to fight this, though. I'm just going to tell you that. This person feels like you moved on to a new beginning. I told you guys. They, for those of you, for this person that is going to come back next month, they think all they can think about is a future with you and having a new beginning with you. And they're really, really hoping that you give this another chance. Okay, so definitely between the next few weeks and the next next month, you guys, this person's going to come back. Okay, but I feel like for some of y'all, somebody hasn't gotten out of their ego yet. So it may take this that person a little bit longer. Okay, yeah, somebody's getting ready to come out of illusions. So some Seven of Cups energy in reverse. You could be a Scorpio or dealing with a Scorpio here. This person is coming out of the illusion like of this being, they, they're realizing because this is falling underneath karmic cycle. They're really hoping they haven't lost you, but they know in order for them to get you back or for you to give them another chance collective that they have to like change. They have to grow like they have to end the karmic cycle and address these issues. And for a lot of you guys, this person, this person's issues is definitely ego, pride. Hiding there. They're like, this is an emotionally avoided person. Emotionally avoided person who needs to do a lot of self work and a lot of healing, but they don't want to do the work, which is why you just canned it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really let it go. 
this person has some healing to do and they're really praying and hoping you could be dealing with an Aquarius here. I have some star energy here with this forgiveness and healing. Uh, they're willing to work through this to be with you. Okay, so for some of you guys, I feel like this person can't take it anymore. They're at their wits end. This is this is, hasn't happened with this person overnight. This has happened with, this was a process with this person. So I don't think this is somebody you haven't talked to in like a week or two. This is someone you haven't talked to or been with in a, um, you know, maybe for some of you guys, six months to a year. All right. Because it took this person a long time to figure this out. It's like they thought that you were going to come back. What does the collective need to know about this person? Yeah, look at this. Courage in reverse. Um, strength in reverse, excuse me. Somebody doesn't have the courage. They're going to have to let go of their pride and their ego in order for any of this to work. And this person is realizing that. They could be a Leo here. Definitely fire, strong fire sign energy. What, is this, what does the collective need to know about the person that's missing them? Yep, strong Scorpio and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here with the judgment, okay, and the Queen of Wands, and then the world card in the reverse. It's like this person doesn't want this to be over. They refuse to accept this over, but they also want to keep and maintain control. They are going through some form of an awakening right now. They do want to heal and grow and take things to the next level. They don't want this to be over with the world card in reverse, but the thing is, karmic cycle is here. The world is here in reverse, which makes sense. It's like this person have you re this person is realizing they they have not learned a lesson. They realize the reason they're going through this relationship after relationship because I feel like this is not the first time somebody has complained to this person about their ego and their pride or them hiding their emotions. So now I feel like they met you. You were put in this person's life to help them address this and heal it. You put a mirror up to their, you know, you put a mirror up to them. So now they're learning, okay, yeah, I got to drop this pride and this ego. Okay, they know this. Judgment call. Somebody's making a judgment call here. The fool in reverse. Man, this person doesn't want you to move on. Definitely could be an Aries for a lot of you guys. This person knows that they were immature. They know they were irresponsible. Yeah. But see, part of this person's problem is literally, yeah, their pride and their ego, six and wands. Part of this person's problem is they love attention, I feel like. Um, they love like having fun and like just doing whatever it is that they want to do. But the thing is here is like <sighs> how can I explain this? Because it's like I just lost what I was hearing here with this. This person knows they made a mistake and they've got to change. Okay. They know they got to come out of this prideful, ego, egotistical energy, or you're not just going to deal with it anymore. anymore. So what's going on? With, what, why is this person so immature? Like, why haven't they, why haven't they learned? Five of pentacles in reverse. They have abandonment issues that they need to heal from. They are afraid to ask people for help. This person is very stubborn. They have a difficult they have a difficult time learning lessons and then applying that wisdom. They might blame other people here too. This is somebody here who like uh how can I say this? Uh, with this five of pentacles in reverse. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, but I just feel like this is somebody who doesn't ask for help, but now they might even be going to see a therapist or they might be realizing they need to see a therapist. And so they're like, maybe this person reached out and asked like for some advice from a trusted person and someone with more wisdom and experience said, Hey, y'all, you're, you're, you know, you can't keep doing this. It, you know, you're going to continue to have these same problems in relationships if you do. So, so who is this person talking to and getting advice from? Hmm. This person is mildly depressed, by the way. They are definitely like, 
this person is doing everything they can for this. They're trying to suppress their emotions. They could be, they have some unhealed, like, inner childhood wounds from the, from the past. When they were a child, the sun card in reverse with the five of pentacles in reverse, they could have come from a single parent home, um, you know, because this person is like doing everything they can to try to be happy and try not to be depressed. Okay. They could be talking to a Leo here or a Taurus or a Scorpio or an Aquarius. Five, yeah, see, you see what I'm saying? Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I feel like this person is having a hard time accepting they were the, they, they play the blame game. And so this person is having a hard time like accepting that there this is somebody who's argumentative. Like if you try to tell this person how you feel about something or how something made you feel, this person literally would be like, oh no, but you did this or oh no, you did that. So is this person going to get help? Yeah, they're gonna get help, Page of Wands. They're gonna get help. Okay. Has this person learned their lesson? Two of Wands. They still got some growing up to do. Two of Wands. They're ready to do the work, but they their the work is not complete. So just know for those of you who want to take this person back. They're, they may not be ready to go full in, you know what I'm saying? For those of you, you have free will. You don't have to take this person back if you don't want to. But, but for those of you who do want to take this person back, they still have a lot of growing to do. But they do want to move forward and they do want to leave things in the, some things in the past. And they're, it looks like to me they're willing to leave their comfort zone with this two of wands to do what's right and not continue to show up. Like this is somebody here who you know, is willing to grow and figure it out. They might even be willing to go to counseling, like I said here with this page of wands and this two of, um, what was that? This person is burdened without you. Ten of wands with the nine of pentacles. This person does not want to be single. This person does not want to be single anymore. Yeah, this person is growing very weak. Huh. Ooh, what's going on at the bottom of the deck? The moon card and the high priestess is on the bottom of the deck. This is somebody here who was definitely irrational and difficult to difficult to control. Or this is someone here who is did everything they could to hide and suppress their emotions and they cannot do that anymore. Really weird. It's like this person refused to do the work. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Like, no progress. Like, this person just has issues with... Yeah, but they do want to try to work on that. They're aware of this with this Three of Wands energy. Just know, like, this is not something that's going to happen overnight. This person is really reckless, too. I feel like they, they, they have an aggressive way about them. And I feel like for some of y'all, this person gets distracted easily, like with other things or other people, or they could have been like unable to commit with you, or this person could have like tried to sell you a dream. Something about this person is impractical or like living in a fantasy or something, or this person could have tried to sell you a fantasy. I don't know. Something about what this person was saying to you at one point was very reckless. What else does the collective need to know? About the person missing them. <clears throat> That's your wish fulfillment. You are this person's wish fulfillment. And they, this person is getting some clarity. They didn't have clarity about it before. But now they're able to see. They're able to see. Now they want to get on the same page with you. And they're going to want to talk. And say. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe even want to go to a therapist. But I just feel like this is not going to happen overnight. This person is really about to lose it. I feel like this is an overthinker. Look at this energy. They could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Overthinker, overthinker trigger, mental prison, co complicated, confused, not seen clearly. 
<coughs> excuse me, this person misses your affection. They miss your touch. Hmm. I feel like this person has been lying to themselves. This person's in denial. It's like this person did everything they could. This is the type of person who prayed at, for somebody like you collective. And then when they got you, they didn't know what to do with you. And they made every excuse not to be with you and commit to you. Yeah, contemplating. Now this person is heavily thinking. What's this heavy thinking about? <clears throat> What's this heavy thinking about? This person is going through so much pain because they're concerned that you may have moved on by now. And you've manifested something else. They may feel like you have, <coughs> excuse me, that you may have moved on with another per person. Um, or you've moved on to focus on your career, your sole purpose. You, They feel like you've manifested something and you're about to leave them behind. Okay, because look at this pain this person is in. Why is this? Yeah. Show me this manifestation energy. This person is afraid you're going to reject them. They are trying to manifest a conversation with you and that you're going to hear them out. Okay. What else does a collective need to know about this person? And why are they overthinking so much? They're overthinking because they know that you were the gift and they fumbled you. They knew that they prayed for someone like you. They knew when you came in, you were wish fulfillment. This person recognized what the connection was and they knew how they felt about you, but they didn't want to share that information. They didn't want to address those feelings. They were in denial or they just, you know what I'm saying? It's that kind of energy. Like they knew you were a gift or a blessing. They did know that, but they didn't want to change. So they chose to treat you like, instead of treating you like, the gift they treated you like I don't I don't know like they went to five below instead of them going to I don't I don't even know what the target what however y'all want to describe it I don't know okay but this is this person knows like it's time for them to make a change so is this person really going to change here is this person really ready to change Oh, yeah, they're going through an awakening. They're just holding back right now. So the reason you haven't heard from this person, look at this bottom of the deck is romance. Okay, wine and dine. This I feel like this person, even though they're not talking right now with this introverted energy and they're holding back and they're not saying much, is because they're going through this spiritual awakening right now. That They're going through this spiritual awakening. They're seeing this for what it is. So like this per person feels like there was a purpose they feel like they met you to address these things and this person was not ready to address them. So meeting you basically created this tower and they're not ready for that. But one thing they do know is that they can't get over you. They're in a lot of pain right now. So that's why you haven't heard from this person. So allow this person to go through this process, even if they haven't said anything to you. They're doing a lot of heavy thinking and contemplating. And this person knows they have a really, really big decision. They're confused right now and trying to see clearly here, but they just feel like they're in a mental prison. They're going to have to work this out on their own, but they are having some form of an awakening right now. Okay. They're going to see things for what it is. Uh, they know they have a lot of self-work work to do. Okay. So give it some time. Like I said, that for some of y'all, this could be um, up to three months, but for the majority of you guys between next month and the next few weeks. All right, so I love you guys. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Join us on Patreon if you're into Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and Twin Flame readings. That is only $5 a month. That link can be found below in the description box. And also, I am open for personal readings. That link is also in the description box. If I just see you guys later, just please make sure you support the channel. Hit the like button and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Bye.